My name is Erin Weber. I am President and Managing Director of Littler Mendelssohn. I am resident in Denver, Colorado, but rarely there. Like all large law firms, uh, we are dealing with talent recruitment and retention, geopolitical risks, also obviously continuing innovation all the time to stay ahead. But as the world's largest labor and employment law firm, we've had a challenge this year that I think we've met, we've been able to leverage our brand reputation in that for maybe the first time ever, l and &E, or labor and employment issues, are really front of mind for corporate legal departments. In the past, perhaps um, l and &E in corporate legal was viewed as a cost center. And now, with the developments from the U.S. Supreme Court this past June, these issues are front of mind. Um, companies realize that to um, address the market and the industry forces, they have to address these head on. So it's made, it's, it's been a very great opportunity for us to, uh, to provide assistance in that way. I think it gives us the opportunity to be true innovators. Um, you know, when people think about innovation, I think that people usually go to tech. Right? That's what you think of with innovation. But the definition of innovation is really a new idea, method, or device. Another definition is you know, the implementation of an idea to improve or increase or create new products and services. This moment in time gives us the ability to have really inclusive innovation and to bring everyone in, to get everyone's ideas together and, and come up with new, better, faster uh, ways of doing things. Um, I mentioned in, you know, uh, inclusive innovation. I, uh, I really try uh, in my role as managing director to bring in everyone and their ideas. You know who are, uh, who's great at coming up with new ideas? New parents who are also lawyers, right? Um, they're doing a million things uh, faster, better, quicker, right? And they're still practicing law. If you can take the concept that innovation is really about improving everything we do for our clients, for internally, for each other, I think it really opens up the concept and doesn't focus it just on technology. Of course, uh, when people think of innovation and technology, everyone goes to Gen AI, and we could talk about that forever. Uh, but I really think that um, this, uh, the market forces right now present a unique opportunity for this kind of inclusive innovation. Employees, I think, sometimes feel a little threatened when you start thinking about Gen AI. Uh, we also have talked about the layer of mental health and well-being uh, that seems to uh, come into so many aspects of what we're doing post-pandemic in, in this world. Um, but I think that one thing we've learned and talked about at Legal Lab is uh, there is always going to be a need for the human piece of this. Um, while Gen AI and AI in general may be able to make things better, faster, more efficient for lawyers at all stages, it will never replace the human component and the counselor part of being an attorney and counselor. So we need, and, and we need the ideas of our, uh, especially more junior lawyers, right, coming forward and um, sharing the concerns that they have so that we can make sure that we're training them up uh, to, to hit really the next level as we use hopefully Gen AI to, to take away some of the tasks that they, that are not their highest and best use. Legal Lab continues to be uh, one of the highlights of the year to make me really think outside the box and to help me feel camaraderie and collaboration with other folks in my role and in related roles. And I always leave here just feeling inspired and great about what is coming forth in the future.